Hello, hello to everybody. I hope you are great today and everything is uh, okay. So uh, today we're going to talk about Ukrainian trident, Ukrainian national symbol. If you go to Ukraine first time, you can find trident everywhere on the car, on the building, and also, first of all, on the Ukrainian currency, Grivna. Uh, here is a Ukrainian trident, I don't know if you see it. It's, it's a re um, rather interesting symbol, and today we uh, will be talk about where it came from, this trident. Hello, who is watching me? <laughs> Ukrainian flag blue and yellow and Ukrainian trident you know that um, national symbol is very important because this is special symbol of the every nation first of all mostly national symbols are very old it's uh, they have very old history the main the main role of uh, such kind of sign is uh, united all the nation together. Uh, this uh, symbol should to be um, the same. People should uh, like it uh, and uh, indicate uh, themselves as uh, people that belong to a um, certain nation. Because uh, sign from Greek uh, language translated as to show direction this symbol should to show direction to the people where to go it's not about only about past but also about future so we need to think about this so uh, what about Dryden? what it was history it's very interesting symbol because it was used in different people in different nations for instance, one of the oldest trident we can see, <laughs> we can see in uh, Hinduism. Uh, this is um, in India, yeah, far away from Ukraine. Uh, this uh, god um, is a supreme divinity, uh, the most important god in Hinduism. It's called Supreme. Brahma. I am not very knowledgeable in the Hinduism. I know that many uh, people from India uh, watch me, so probably you correct me. <laughs> and sorry probably for some mistake in your religion. So, as I understand, Supreme Brahma divided into three different gods. Um, for instance, uh, you can see here um, Brah, um, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. Brahma is the creator, uh, the forest god who created everything on this land. Vishnu is uh, the preserver who preserved this uh, plant, as I understand this is uh, Vishnu. And Shiva, Shiva is the destroyer, somebody need to destroy <laughs> the world in order to move it to the progress. One of my friends told that if you have no problem, you don't uh, develop, you stay in the same uh, position. So, uh, that is why we need Shiva, the destroy, I think. So, this, um, this goddess, uh, this, uh, this god, uh, it has uh, a trident in his... Um, I try to... No, if <laughs> I can make it bigger. You can see he has trident, he holds trident here. Uh, it have three parts. Um, so the trident um, sign uh, uh, unition of uh, three gods. This is like in Christianity. In Christianity we have one god, but it divided into three different spirits. God Father, God um, Son, and God um, and Holy, Holy Spirits, but uh, all of them are united. So uh, we have many similar um, things in different religions. So probably it showed that uh, in the past uh, people were more united and they came probably from one area like in the European. <laughs> so I found 
I found very beautiful temple. This temple, Hinduist temple, is in Indonesia, and it dedicated to supreme divinities, to supreme Brahma. It's really look very nice, and if you travel to Indonesia, you can visit it, especially during the sunset. It's beautiful. You can see there is a beautiful temple guide as well <laughs> in Indonesia. Trident we find also not only in India, but also in Europe. In front of you is Poseidon. Po Pos Poseidon, it's, uh, his name is in English, in Ukraine we call him Poseidon. The powerful man who have power on the ocean, on the sea. And Poseidon symbol is also trident. Uh, so interesting that Poseidon Trident um, mean is that uh, the all the world is divided into three parts. This is air, water, and the air, ether. Uh, so um, all this uh, important part of the world, uh, like they united uh, into other planets where people. People live. So, what about what about uh, Kiev, Russia, about Slavic? The first time when we started to use um, Trident, it was uh, the ninth century. Uh, this uh, symbol belonged to Rurik. Rurik is the first uh, man in the Rurik dynasty. There was Viking whose name was Rurik. He lived in the Baltic Sea, some there are, uh, some there are near the Baltic Sea, on the north of Russia, in the west, uh, and, uh, northwest of Russia. And once uh, his son Oleg came, moved to the um, east, uh, he established here, uh, he moved to Kiev here, yeah, and uh, he established here his dynasty. So. The Triton of Rurik uh, was divided not into three parts, but it divided into two parts. And many uh, scientists was thinking what it can be symbolized. Many scientists think that it symbolizes falcon, falcon who tried to catch its victim. Uh, falcon who, when falcon caught somebody, he just go down so it's um, his uh, form look like like trident like this and in total falcon it was very popular in the european world in the ancient world it's a uh, symbolize um, um, victory it symbolized the um, spiritual power the bird who um, uh, go to its name, uh, its aim, uh, regardless different troubles, different circumstances. He tried to catch his his goal, and uh, probably Rurik also uh, he um, compare his power to to the birth. I don't know exactly, but I like falcons. Five years ago, I was in Georgia, and we travel around all the country. And there is very nice place nearby river. There were men who had falcons, and uh, as you see, I hold uh, two of them. They are really very, uh, they were very nice and very gorgeous. Uh, and I just feel uh, their spirit is really every brush has. It's own spirits, I think. That is why I have bird. I like birds here. <laughs> you can hear it's um, some. Uh, hello, Hamal. How are you? I <laughs> hope you are great. Uh, thank you for watching me. So, after. Uh, some years ago, just recently, two years ago, uh, Ukrainian National Museum got this uh, gold coin. And uh, this gold coin move probably some from abroad. It was presented to museum, and this coin belonged to Svetoslav. Um, Svetoslav, uh, one of the Rurik dynasty, who lived in the 10th century. But if Svetoslav used two corners uh, um, trident, 
he sunk Vladimir, he used three um, part uh, trident like like this you can see he add there are one more one more part so it's like modern <laughs> you can see here coin of um, Vladimir and his coin uh, and the old Slavic Slavic, Slavic things so Vladimir was uh, Mm, the prince who baptized Kiev Rus, who make it Christian, because he understand that we need to be baptized, because Europe in that time became Christian as well. German, uh, France, uh, uh, Byzantine, all of them were Christian, so he decided to make it Christian as well. But he left uh, his symbol, uh, Rurik symbol, Trident. And just change it a bit. Uh, his trident we can find on the ancient church. Uh, this church called Spasana Berstovy. It stay nearby um, Lavra Monastery. This church is one of the oldest in Ukraine. It's from the 12th century. And just on its wall, um, some years ago, scientists uh, noted uh, this symbol it's look like upside down trident <laughs> so this symbol was uh, hiding into the bricks you can see here bricks and uh, it's it's look like uh, so vladimir put writing everywhere, uh, everywhere on the coin on the dishes on all his property because um he um stamped he stamped all his property by by this sign by by his trident unfortunately in the um, middle of the 13th century kiev rus was destroyed by mongolians and you know many rurik uh, family members uh, they started to use as a symbol like uh, prince uh, uh, Danilo from uh, Galicia, from Western Ukraine, he started to use lion, gold lion on the blue shoulder. Uh, also, he used uh, two eagle head. Actually, this symbol came probably from Byzantine to to him, to his day. And even one of the last uh, member of this family, uh, Vishnevetsky, Prince Vishnevetsky, used a um, different symbol. As you see, he had cross, he had um, moon and, and star here. So, in the 17th, 18th, 19th century, all uh, these uh, symbols were for, uh, forgotten. Trident was forgotten for many years and peasants, Ukrainian, did not uh, remember it. Just in nineteen in nineteen seventeen, Russian Empire was destroyed, and Ukrainian state started in that time. Russian Empire was destroyed. That is why countries countries try to to be independent from the Russia, and many Ukrainian intelligentsia, many Ukrainian patriots, they. Uh, wanted to create Ukrainian state, but uh, they didn't know what kind of uh, um, symbol used for this state. So the president of the state was historian uh, Hrushevsky. He did, uh, he know very well difference um, sign, difference uh, stamps, uh, emblems, yes. And he told that there is the trident that was used by by the great prince of Kiev, Rus Vladimir. So, uh, how about we take this uh, symbol? And Ukrainian artist um, depict the uh, draw this this symbol. So you can see the trident how it was in 1918, uh, the emblem of Ukrainian National Republic. It's called. For instance, you can compare Ukrainian trident and you can compare Russian emblem. It's huge, <laughs> two, 
two head eagle big uh, warrior big crown it's so big by the way this symbol they got in um, in the 15th century just in the 15th century this symbol was taken probably from Byzantine by Baj Ivan the and the third Russian king, Russian Tsar. Uh, why he take this symbol to head eagle? Uh, he married um, Denise of the last Byzantine emperor. Her name was Sophia, and probably she took this uh, to head eagle to the Russian, to the Russia, yeah, and it, he decided to use this symbol, because actually in that time started to be this idea that Russia is the third Rome. <laughs> there was the first Rome, actually the Rome, the second, this Constantinople, Byzantine, and uh, Russian people think that uh, the third room is uh, Russia, yeah, so uh, they use uh, this Byzantine symbol till now. Sure. Russian people do not like trident uh, from the over the 20th century, they just laughed at it. That is why Ukrainian people um, know about trident just from the comical books. <laughs> In the Soviet time there was very popular uh, uh, comedy, comedy books, or how it's called, uh, called, Croco uh, called Crocodile. Uh, people laughed at uh, different situations. For instance, you can see here um, the image like Ukrainian nationalists uh, uh, in the shape of uh, wolf and fox who hold Ukrainian flag. And there is, uh, by the way, trident. So from such kind of pictures, um, Ukrainian find uh, what is a trident? What is the symbol? Okay, we use it many years ago. So in such a way, Soviet people understand what, uh, what is trident. When Ukraine got independence, of course, many nationalists, were, uh, they like this symbol, they fought uh, with communists for this symbol, and at least they um, make uh, trident as Ukrainian symbol. That is why we see it on Ukrainian coin. In Ukraine, we ca you can see trident not only on, uh, on Ukrainian money, but also on the field uh, near the houses, for instance, you can see here flowers make in the shape of uh, of trident uh, nearby uh, nearby house. The local pensioner woman she planted uh, flowers, Ukrainian flowers, Chernobrivsi in the shape of uh, trident. In such way, she would like to um, express her love to Ukrainian symbol. That came from, uh, to us from the many, many years ago, from thousand years ago. So such was the history of Ukrainian trident. <laughs> yeah. If you like my project, historical project, you can support it. The detail you can see in the description. I will be happy with this. Uh, I hope I can make uh, more video for you, more interesting um, photos and video about uh, Ukraine. So uh, have a nice weekend, have a nice uh, great, great uh, time with your family, with your friends uh, and uh, see you soon.